Welcome to the testing word. So in this session, we need to understand why as a tester, I need to learn Python. So first of all, I'll discuss about Python. We have heard about Python is one of the most usable or I'll say most popular programming language in the world. First, I'm going to explain you why Python is most popular. Python is a simple programming language. Syntax of the Python programming is very simple. It's very easy to understand. So anybody who has a very basic programming background or I'll say no programming background, still he or she can learn Python. Uh, that is the biggest advantage with the Python. It support object oriented programming. That is again advantage with the Python. It can execute on the different platform. So we can execute, we can use Python on the windows. We can use on Linux, Unix machines. We can use it on a Mac. So it providing cross platform support. That is again, one of the biggest advantage with the Python. But the next advantage, which I'm going to explain you, that is the biggest difference between Python and any other programming language. In Python, we have very large number of libraries, which we can use to perform different tasks. So if you heard about uh, data analysis, if you heard about data science, so we have lots of library which we can use in the Python. Different tasks which we want to perform by using Python, it will become very easy because we have large set of libraries. It's an interpreted and interactive language. So interactive means we need not to go for complete program. We can write one statement and can get output of it. And interpreted means there is a no compiler. It is directly going for the interpretation. So these are the advantages I have explained. And because of that, Python is one of the most popular programming language in this time. Now question comes, why as a tester, I need to learn Python. Uh, I can give you a simple example. Most of the calls that we are getting from uh, different companies, they ask for any scripting language. It could be Python, it could be Perl, it could be shell. We must have knowledge of any scripting language. Then why we are going for the Python, we can go for any other scripting language. So I'm going to tell you where as a tester, I can use Python. So first of all, as we all know, when we are going for any automation tool, we need to learn any programming language. So if you are working on UFT or previously we call it QTP, so there is a programming language with the name VB script. In today's scenario, few tools are very popular and these tools are supporting Python as a programming language. So you can take example of the Selenium, which support Python programming language. In the same way, if you are going for automation of mobile application, we can go for one of the most popular tool that is APM and APM is also providing support of Python programming language. Today we have one of the framework, the framework name is robot framework and robot framework is also giving the integration with Python programming language. We have one more popular tool that is test complete, which we can use to automate our web base, window base and client server application. This test complete tool is also giving support of Python programming language. So I have given you few examples, few tools examples where we can use Python, but there are many tools which we can use with Python programming language. So first of all, if we talk about why should we go for the Python programming, if you go for the Python programming, we can work on different automation tools which are very popular in the market as I have given you examples, Selenium, APM, Robot Framework and many more. So I'm coming to the next point. Here is, we can perform many other tasks by using Python programming. When we are working as a manual tester and in many cases, we are required to have a lot of test data. If you're working on automation or maybe if you're working on a performance testing, it might be required. You need a lot of data for your testing. For that, we can use different modules which are available in the Python. One of the most popular module is Faker module. By this, we can generate millions of test data in within few seconds. And that is quite similar to the actual data. Means if you want to generate chip code, or I'll say first name and the last name for the United States. So it will generate whatever the number you want, like you want 1 million records with the first name and the last name. So it will generate it within few seconds. So here we can see, we can use Python for generating our test data. Python also having many modules, which we can use for the security testing. So for going for the security testing, that is one, 
one of the most popular programming language. Next is web scrapping. What do you mean by the web scrapping? So we have a website. We have a website with a lot of pages, hundred, thousand of pages, and I want to fetch any information from anywhere in the website. One approach could be go to the each and every page manually and fetch that information. We have different modules in the Python which we can use to go for the web scrapping. Web scrapping means with the Python programming, we can go to the each and every page and fetch the information as per our requirement. Next, we can use Python for data analytics and the visualization. So we have a lot of libraries. One is NumPy, one is Pandas, and we have few more libraries which we can use for data analytics. Means I want to want to go for millions or billions of records which we are having. We want to perform some calculation on that. And on the behalf of that, we want to go for the visualization. We want to generate graph. We want to generate pie charts that can be done by using existing libraries, which we are having in Python. And the most popular libraries for this work is NumPy and Pandas. Next is, I hope you heard about the big data. We have the field of big data testing as well. If you are going for the big data testing, we need to work with a bulk size of data, which have millions of billions of records and we need to perform our testing on that. So with the help of the Python, we can perform different tasks like data analysis, data correction, data updation, modification, data processing, data validation, comparison. So while working on big data, on many cases, it is required to play with the data or I'll say it is required to update input data or maybe output data. We need to compare actual and expected data, which is in billions of record. And we need to validate the data like I should not have error in any of the record. So we need to validate any data. Apart from it, we need to process the data. Like I want to remove all the junk records where my ID is equal to null. It could be any scenario. So if you want to go for data analysis, processing, validation, comparison. So we have a lot of modules which are available in the Python that we can use and process our data. If you are thinking to go for the big data testing domain, that is one of the most important and popular programming language that you should choose. So here we have seen what all the areas where we can use Python. Next and one of the most important question, what we need to learn in Python, like as a tester, as a manual tester or maybe automation tester, but I'm not in the Python as of now. I want to go for the Python. So what should I learn? Like what all the things I should learn because Python itself is a very big programming language. We have a lot of modules. We have a lot of libraries. So what all the things that I need to learn as a tester. So here we need to understand why I'm going to learn this Python. If you want to learn Python for the automation tools point of view, if you want to use Python in Selenium or maybe in APM or maybe in test complete. So in that kind of case, you just need to go for the basics of the Python, like how we can go for looping condition handling, how we can read and write data into the file string handling, how we can connect with the database. These are the basic section of the Python we can go for. And that will be more than enough. If you are talking about automation tools point of view. Next is I want to go for utilities and data processing. I want to create some utilities like you want to create a utility which will generate test data for you. And if you want to generate some utility which will do some mathematical calculation on your data. So in that kind of scenario, you can go for the basics of Python that I have already updated you. And we can go for some advanced topic like we can go for the Faker lib library or we can go for the NumPy library. So these are the libraries which are available and that we can use for, for creating the utilities and data processing. And these are the few examples. There are a few more libraries we can explore. Next is big data analytics or visualization. So if you're talking about the big data analytics, if you're working as a big data tester, or if you want to go for the data science, what all the things that we need to learn. So if that kind of case, if you want to go for the big data analytics or maybe data science, that it will be great. First, you are going for the basics of Python. Like you must have the knowledge of like how we can create classes, objects, how we can connect with the database, uh, how we can write loops. So these are the basic programming. First, we need to understand. Once you complete that, then we can go for the few specific libraries, which are very important for data analysis or visualization. A few libraries, which I mentioned, one is Seaborn, 
numpy pandas and we have many other libraries which you can learn here we have seen why we need to learn python as a software tester and what all the things that i need to learn and if you talk about the roadmap so it's not like that you need to learn everything at once i would suggest first go for basics of the python which will give you some understanding like what is python how we can write its code and what are the different things we can perform in the python and then start writing small programs small programs could be you are doing some calculation you are printing something on the console you are running some loops so basics first we need to understand once you are comfortable with the basics you will be ready to work on automation tools like selenium or maybe apm or any other tool which are supporting python after that you can try some advanced libraries as we discussed here like numpy pandas seaborn so these are the libraries which we can use for the data analysis and the visualization so here we have seen why we need to learn python and what all the things that we can learn in python so that's all i have for this session thanks for watching this video hello all hope you enjoy this video if you have any questions regarding this video please ask in the comment section and also please like and subscribe for more software testing courses also we are offering a wonderful package of software testing online video courses in dollar 200 find us on facebook for more offers and updates here is the url facebook.com testing word india